What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna look at as many Class B RVs as possible at the RV show. In the video, I wanna show pricing, different models, different layouts, floor plans. They had everything from four by four Class Bs to Class B pluses, everything in between. So I'm gonna show you the floor plans and the pricing, but before that, a quick message from today's sponsor. A huge thank you to the RV Glass Guru for sponsoring today's video. The RV Glass Guru specializes in RV windshield replacement and foggy window repair. They have a team of certified installers nationwide that can do RV windshield replacement. If you have a foggy window that needs to be repaired, they have a team of certified technicians in the Arizona area all the way from Yuma to Quartzsite to Phoenix to Tucson. Tell RV Glass Guru that Andrew Steele sent you and they'll give you $100 off. They also offer additional discounts for anybody that has served as a veteran in law enforcement or any other public service. We greatly appreciate all of you that have served our country. This is a Winnebago Rebel. These are really popular. It's a four by four rig. $123,000 show price. Looks like it has an MSRP right around $168,000. Kind of a cool look with the yellow stitching and the white and black two-toned. Looks like the bed in the back is retractable and I'll show another coach in a second. And this is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. This is another Rebel, looks like the show price is $122,408, has about a $168,000 sticker. And I'll show you what the back looks like here in this one. Um, the bed is down, but that bed looks like it will go up there, which would create a lot more storage in the back, maybe for mountain bikes or something like that. It was really awesome that La Mesa had all of these different coaches just lined up that you could walk through. This is another Revel, and in this one you can see the bed is in the up position, and you've got a ton of cargo space back there when the bed is in the up position. So this is a Winnebago era and I believe this is the era 4x4. So this is a four-wheel drive. 188 sticker, looks like the show price is around 138. And this is a good looking rig on the inside. It's nice when you can see when the chairs are turned around. It gives it a completely different feel. And this is a nice floor plan with the rear bed. It looks like a kitchen in the middle of the coach and a bathroom off to the left there. Nice cabinetry, nice windows, very popular floor plan. This is very similar to that last rig we just looked at. You can see the chairs are spun around in this coach. A Little bit different colors, but overall pretty much the same floor plan, same rig as the last one we saw. This is a Thor Motor Coach Class B RV on the Dodge Promaster chassis. Looks like it's got an 80 grand show price. And this is a very different uh, floor plan than a lot of the Class Bs I've seen with the kind of couch area that turns into a bed in the front there. And then you've got a rear bathroom shower area. A little bit tight in here, but, uh, but a lot of coach for a compact package. And they've got so many of them. We'll uh, we'll look at a few more. This is the uh, the Winnebago Travado that we're going to look at here. I like the silver and black. It's on the Dodge Promaster chassis. 
show price of 110,429. Looks like the sticker is at about 156,000. So this is about 30,000 more expensive than that Thor uh, we looked at on the Promaster chassis. And this is a cool floor plan with the two twin beds, a front kitchen. I like the dinette table there when the front seat folds around. I would assume that that turns into a full bed. And then you've got a rear bathroom, shower area, your cabinets. This is a cool, cool floor plan. It's very cool to see all of the different unique things that they're thinking of in these Class Bs. So this is the Tellaro, and this is gonna be another Class B on the Dodge Promaster chassis. It has a show price of $79,998. So this is the Thor. And this is gonna be the same uh, Thor Motor Coach Class B that we just looked at two units ago. I really like the light colors in this coach, the white cabinets with the kind of light gray. It's actually similar to the same colors I went with in my Tiffin. And then the rear baths, very functional. And I'd make a little jump here. I'm trying to go through as many of them as possible for you, you guys. And what else do we got going on here? There's a, there was probably 20 or 30 Class Bs here and I tried to go through all of them. So this is the Tiffin Wayfair, $148,500 MSRP, $117,700 sticker. It's a 24 TW floor plan and this is a class B plus. So you will notice the bed area above the cab. I love the colors in this. And this is a real cool floor plan with the twin beds in the back and that will convert into a, a full bed as well. There's a panel you could put in between the two beds and Tiffin did, has been doing a great job with their design in more recent years. They've really stepped it up. You've got a shower off to your right. I like that it's kind of a whole door and then your head will be to the left there. And notice how it opens from the front to the head and it opens from the back to go to the shower. And this area above the cab looks like it turns into a real nice bed. New Mercedes chassis, a lot of coach for the dough. Tiffin Wayfair. I like the LED lighting along the awning as well. And let's see what else we have here. Looks for 90. Looks like for 99 grand you can get an Integra Class B Plus. This is a lot of coach for the dough here. It's on the new Mercedes chassis. You can see the updated headlights there. The sticker on this coach is 160764 That's a huge discount. The folks at La Mesa, I think they do the non-negotiation pricing where they just put out their low prices first. Same thing with the, the double beds in the back that can be converted into one bed. Really nice cabinetry with the high gloss very similar floor plan to the one we just looked at, but it looks like the whole bathroom area is the shower and the bathroom are connected in this one, giving it a little more storage space on that other side. Really nice colors they're using. And again, a huge bed above the cab there. That looks like it's gotta be like a queen size bed. I really like the updated face of the, the new Sprinters. Real nice, just the whole, all the finishes that they use seems really high end. And this coach has a show price of 102785 sticker 162264 And this is another Integra Quest. I really like the exterior colors. And this is a different floor plan, another Class B+. Plus. You'll notice the large area with the window above the cab as well. And I can't get enough of that new Mercedes dash with the big screen. Real nice booth style table. 
really opens up the coach and the corner bed. So this is more of an open floor plan. It's not as sectioned off and then it's gonna have a rear bathroom here. And this seems to be one of the larger bathrooms I've seen in a B plus. This is probably the biggest class B bathroom I've seen. Okay, for a hundred grand, that's 60,000 off of MSRP. This is a lot of coach. It's got a nice wardrobe space here. I'm digging this one. I think for the dough, this is probably the one of the better values. Uh, sorry, 102,785. I'm going through so many, it's easy to confuse them, but Integra Quest, a lot of coach for the dough and a class B plus. I like the light colors, the cool design rear tail lights, a window in the back, really cool design. So many RVs to see, so I'm just gonna keep cruising here. This has a $121,000 sticker, looks like it's already sold. This looks like it's a Midwest Conversions. I really like the diamond stitching they do on the leather. This is kind of a higher end company that's been really making a splash lately. This is a cool bathroom. It's kind of set off to the side here. And this is just a class B, not a B plus. So it's a little more compact. And again, that diamond stitching is really a good looking. This is another Midwest Conversions. You'll see that same diamond stitching. A little different floor plan, but very similar. That one has $121,000 show price. Now let's look at this Ford Transit. This has a sticker of $135 and a show price of $114,950. This is a Pleasure Way on Tour, another Class B. Looks like you've got a head in the front of the coach there. Very similar floor plan to the last couple of Midwest conversions that we just looked at. I'm curious what you guys think about these shower, bathroom, kind of all-in-one deals where you, you shower on basically the, the bathroom floor there. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm personally not a huge fan of those, but I guess I could live with one if I had to. Let's take a look at this. It looks like it's a, a CrossFit, $75,000 show price. Uh, this is on the Ford chassis as well. And they had the lights turned off on this one, but. Here's a road trek on the Dodge Promaster chassis, $93,000 show price. It's got that same front shower bathroom conversion. I like this, how it's got the two kind of couches in the back that looks like they'll fold down into a bed. And plenty of storage space back there. Pretty cool floor plan. And that was the Zion model, and I believe that this is another Zion as well. It is. $85,000 show price. I really like that La Mesa advertises pretty decent prices in my opinion. Uh, it's cool that they're not making you play the whole negotiation nonsense deal, but I wonder if they'd be willing to take off. If you've negotiated below what their advertised RV pricing is, please drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Now this coach really caught my eye because it has the pop-up camper. And actually my first experience in camping was my parents had a Volkswagen uh, van again or Volkswagen I can't remember what it was called but had that same pop-up uh, tent kind of deal coming out of the the roof there so kind of bringing back that old Volkswagen retro styling and check out how much room is up here and for the dough this is just a ton of coach 
He's got the, the full-on kind of tent camper set up. It looks like a comfortable place to uh, crash out there. What do you guys think? Now this is a super rare coach, a Storyteller Overland, kind of a new company that popped up recently. This was the first time I got a chance to see one of these. Uh, it's a four by four um, class B. Uh, so there's supposed to be a lot of cool stuff in this coach. And if you know more about this coach, please drop a comment below and, and let me know. But just a real cool kind of rugged design. I like all of the, the brushed alloy with their logo on it and the kind of rugged leather with the really cool pattern. Um, they did a phenomenal job uh, designing these. And check out how much cargo space you have when the bed's folded up back here. Just a really cool design how you can diversify that space and either use it as a cargo area or a living space. And I like the side ladder. That's kind of a unique, uh, different, different deal. And just a kind of a retro design to it. Just totally different. And you can tell they're really thinking outside the box with this. And at a $200,000 MSRP, they're going to need to because that is a pretty expensive Class B uh, 4x4 right there. So this is another uh, Tiffin Wayfair. This is a Class B Plus, 154,541 sticker, 122,488 show price. And I really like the Tiffin interior designs and their most recent models. You've got the large bed over the cab, a uh, nice size kitchen. Looks like somebody had all the owner's manuals pulled out. I love La Mesa lets you know those show prices and a similar floor plan to one of the other coaches we just looked at with the, the beds that go down the sides and your head is going to be to the right where you can enter that from the front and then you can't enter the shower from the back. You've got to go, or from the front, you got to go to the back of the coach and then enter the shower there. So that's one of the small inconveniences that I noticed, but really not a big deal once you get used to it. I think that would fold down into a bed. So technically, you can sleep quite a few people in this coach. I greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing and watching these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.